Sim City. So yeah, I broke down and bought another EA game. I was always on the fence with this one, and you guys seem to like my beta review. Anyways, let's dig in. Did they increase the map size? Nope, but we already knew that. If bigger maps come in DLC, we will all know we're being milked by EA. Let's check in on the graphics. The game still looks beautiful. In fact, now that it's released, the game runs a little bit smoother, so props for that. Water don't look that great. It looks like clay, but runny clay. And the edges where it meets the land just don't look right. Clouds and stuff look great, and that tilt shift stuff is amazing. What I did like and missed in the beta is the filters they have in the graphic options. Some of these look freaking amazing, and it just adds to how you want to play the whole game, the overall experience of it, I mean. It was a nice addition to the game, I have to say. Now the gameplay. Online DRM is bad. You guys know that. I know most of us have access to the internet, but let's say you bought an igloo down south. You know, a place to go on vacation. So you pack up your $10,000 laptop, the one with diamond inlays, and you get there. Wait, no internet, no game. Always on DRM is a catastrophe just waiting to happen. I bought the game, but I'm here hoping to find a no online DRM. Well, we'll call it an update slash plugin from someone not by EA. Game small, real small. In fact, you'll have the LAN all used up in under an hour, to be honest. The game then gets boring. So you'll create another city on another region, and again you'll run out of space. This don't feel like the older SimCity games, for sure. Upgrading your buildings are done via the roads, and all electricity and plumbing runs under them as well. This is okay, and I can accept that. You'll have a boatload of information to look at via the wind charts and density maps, but you'll hardly ever use it. I had to use it once just to see which way the wind blew so I could build my industries in a way that the pollution didn't affect the residents. But once you look at which way the wind's blowing, you'll never look at it again. Now, once you do run out of land, you'll see residential areas that want to grow bigger but don't have space. You will have inadvertently made the distance between the roads so small they won't grow into big buildings you're waiting for. The option is destroying the area and rebuilding. This can be fun, but it highlights the same overall problem. The bloody game is way too small. Sound in the game is okay. Music in the game reminds me of the old SimCity games, which is a plus, but then again, it reminds me of how small this one is. So, now you can build cities with friends. Yeah, that never really worked out well either. There's little to no interaction, and you'll barely know that the other cities are around. Then you'll run out of building space only to find out there's no more available spots to build another city in your region. You can outsource work or fire trucks, police stations to other cities, but that just don't do anything for me at all. And I'm willing to bet it won't for you either. The only plus side of having friends have their cities near you is the ability to go over and look to see what their layout is like. What's sadder is I laid down 71 bones for this game, and nothing really changed since the beta. Sure, there are other unlocks, but you won't have the space to place them once you unlock them in your city. Also, you can build airports and oil rigs once you get the money raised, but it will be in another area outside of town, and the only real plus to it is that you'll probably get an achievement. Also, I find the game super easy. If you screw up building early on, expect to have to tear down everything later in the game to fix it. The game is a dumbed down version of SimCity 4, with better graphics. It feels more like an expansion to The Sims 3. I can't recommend the game at its current price. You'll get bored with it really fast and it's really too bad I gave EA my money. But perhaps this review will help you guys decide on what you're going to do. My beta review still stands. This is a major letdown for me. The only thing I like is that it looks good. I'd wait for the game to drop down to $19.99 because that's all it's really worth. Well, that's my review, folks. This is DTR. Communicate laters. Arr.